しまった Who has two thumbs up and completely fucked up the recording yesterday? Oh, this guy. As in me. Obviously. That would have more of an impact if you were using a camera, Jamie, but we don't do that. <laughs> so I was streaming this yesterday on a premium adventure and the audio was screwed up. So I'm kind of treading on my familiar territory. Which is fine, because I can make this process go a bit quicker. It allows me to refine what I did and stuff without as much uh, pissing around. So, yeah, it's like three hours of footage gone, but whatever. Whatever. I'm annoyed, don't get me wrong, I don't know what caused it. If I was to hazard a guess, it was either OPS just acting funny, it was just like one of its off days. Could have been something to do with PlayStation 3. I know I'm playing on PlayStation 4, but beforehand I put through like a, a full format just so I can get like the official firmware again. It's a normal custom firmware for me, unless I buy like an actual other PS3 that I don't care about. Then again, I don't even think there's that many PS3 games that I'd want to like change the firmware for. At least until I get to like Yakuza 5. Speaking of Yakuza, um, all the main story videos, they're, they're all uploaded now on YouTube. Which is great. Which means I, I probably have like one or two videos left of this before I switch to the next game. And set in my collection is Yakuza 3 and 4, fresh from Canada. I will have to send a tweet to that store um, saying thanks for making it so much easier to get them. So, I should maybe explain why I'm here and why you have to listen to this music all the time. So, remember in the last video I said, oh, let's go get you a protective amulet. This is kind of a, um, a sub-story with a uh, Haruka. Kind of like, um, Majima Everywhere. Kind of like Majima Everywhere. I'll show you. Excuse me. Can you buy me a protective amulet for Don Quotique? Could you eat or whatever? I don't know. Protects you from bad things. I hope that's okay. I wasn't meaning to talk to her there. But when. It's kind of like a sub quest. So I talked to this guy and she's like, Mister, would you buy me a protective amulet? Haruka wants a protective amulet. Just buy that for her. And it fills this bar. Like Majima Everywhere. Um, I think I got to like D. Not even D, probably like halfway through E. But um, as you gain more of her, her trust. You get items exclusive um, from her. And this range, like, you, you do a lot of things, like, you buy her a beef bowl. Like, if she wants a beef bowl, um, you go to a beef bowl place. Or if she wants to play uh, a card game, you go to the gambling den that she played the dice game with you with. And, or, she wants wants to like watch you play roulette or poker or darts or 
have a photo or, or something like that. You can get like a couple of accessories. Um, go from E to SSX and then EX. Um, including like, a few uh, recovery items, but it's, it's probably for like, achievement hunters. I'm not going to bother too much with them. Not only that, when you've got Haruka, you're kind of limited on the uh, amount of subquests you can do. So our time with Haruka is going to be quite limited. And hopefully not interrupted by Majima all the time. So we've got a, a subquest here in the Children's Park next to the Pocket Circuit Stadium. And then we've got a quick cutscene around here. Is it here? No, it was here. In the multi-tenant building, like rooftop of that. And then we've got something in... Not Asia. Bantsman, which was Bacchus before someone shot and tried to frame a Haruka. Those are the only three subquests that, or well, sub stories that, is exclusive to Haruka. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just I'll show you a bit of the system until we get to an E, maybe F. Wait, we'll see. Wait, how we um. Do the subquest. There is something I want to do real fast, and that's start the. Um... Hold on, is that Majima? I guess it wasn't suspicious at all. I thought I saw it shaken, but maybe it was just a wind or something. This was on the floor, though. I guess I'll take it. Patriarch's bat. Oh, okay. Uh, get rid of Sakura Storm. The only thing is, wait, like, the two subquests here and here, they, they're more exclusive to night, so I will have to change what, what the fuck. I thought I could put him back in his fucking... His fucking home. Goddamn Majima. That does uh, bring us to our next uh, our next point, actually. <laughs> Seeing so damn calm even after a surprise attack. That's a cute chain, I know. Um. Yeah. I was breaking Majima as well. Fucking hell. So, I want to try and complete the Majima Everywhere system. Uh, it's quite lengthy. That's... I don't exactly know how many battles you need to do with them to get to like max. But there's like, it goes up to SSX again, just like with Haruka's water system. Um, I 
the... You can get his knife at the very end. And you've got like a an end battle with him. It's kind of like a post-game boss or whatever. And I want to fight that at least so I can call it there. There's a... There is a... Nice, I'm talking. There is a... Um... A super boss at the end as well. Um... Part of the Amon clan? Been wanting to fight them, but I think for time's sake I will... Probably do that off camera or something, or maybe I, if I ever return to Yakuza I can try and do like 100% on like Zeal and stuff. Hey, mister. Hmm? That girl is always sitting there alone. But what do you think she's doing? Always? Hmm. Always, huh? Yeah, I remember seeing her before I met you. Yeah, I remember, her, I remember seeing her before I met you. When I was wandering around Kumurocho. And now she's still there. I see. In this town, a lot of parents work in places that are open late. So maybe she's waiting for her mum da or dad. But she looks so lonely. Can I talk to her? Sure. It is way too fucking hot in here. Hello. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Mm. Yeah. I always, I always see you here. What are you doing? I'm waiting for my mum. She works nearby, so... Oh, okay. What time has she done? I don't know. If she has a lot of customers, she'll be late. If there's less customers, she'll be done early. But today is one of those days when she is usually... When she usually has a lot of customers, so she'll probably be late. Wow, your mum sounds busy. Then, do you want to play a bit? Since you have some time. But mum always tells me not to go into town because Kumocho is so dangerous. So she just leaves a kid in the park in the middle of Kumocho. Fucking genius! Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Thanks for asking, though. Mm. It's okay. I'm sorry to bother you. Well, this definitely isn't a town for young girls, that's for sure. Uh. Oh, my name's Haruka. What's yours? My name is Miho. Is that man your dad? He looks pretty cool. Mm. Huh? Nah. He's my mum's friend. Certified badass dad of the year 20... 2005. Oh, so you're hanging out in the Kumocho with him? You're pretty mature. I wish I could do that. Oh, it's not like that. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Huh? Really? Me too. We're the same age. I've never made a friend the same age before other than classmates. Me too. This is so cool. <laughs> I've never seen how I could talk to a girl her own age before. <laughs> Children make friends so easily. Maybe I can ask for your advice, Haruka-chan. Mm -hmm. But we just met, what kind of advice do you want? You have a boy you like? Mm -hmm. a, a boy? No, I guess I don't. Do you have a boy you like? Mm -hmm. Um, kinda. Wow, what's he like? Oh, and Haruka seems interested. Guess girls that age do like talk about those kind of things. Um, his name is Toshikun. He goes to my school and we've been friends since we were little. But we're in different classes now. We're in different classes now, so I hardly get to talk to him anymore. Well, if you like Toshikun, have you tried finding a way to talk to him? Yeah. We're going to have a Christmas party with all of us. And I was thinking I could get him a present. That's a good idea. What are you going to get him? That's where I'm stuck. I don't know what a boy would like. I can't ask anyone for advice at school or they'd know. 
But since your friends have a grown up, I thought maybe you'd know what boys like. Hmm, I see. Okay. I'll help you. I'll find a present a boy would like. That means you're helping. Is that okay, mister? Yeah, it's not like I have time to spare. Bollocks, you have lots of time to spare. It's not like we have to... I don't know, um... Do a karaoke session or fight a uh, Nishiki or whatever. It's not like we've got, like, time constraints. No, no. Right, we, we can do anything we want. For however long we want. It's fine. A Haruka's finally made a friend. I can't refuse this. Well, as long as it doesn't take too long, sure. Just wait, Miho-chan. I'm gonna find a wonderful present. Thank you, Haruka-chan. I'll be waiting right here. Haruka, do you have any idea what a boy would like? Mm. Nope. Not at all. Nanny. What? Does that mean I have to do everything? Mister? What would you want as a present? You were gonna ask me from the start, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but come on, let's help Miho-chan. She doesn't know what to get. We just have to find the perfect present. I guess I have no choice. Thank you, mister. Well, let's walk around town. Maybe we'll find something. True, maybe we can find a few things and choose from there. I'll let you know if I notice something. Ah oh, man. Should maybe open the window. Right, so there are four places we need to go for these presents. The first one would be M store if I'm not mistaken. I've actually done this, so. So I'd read it again, it's pretty great. Pretty great dialogue. Like one of the mags that you eat. Maybe it's not this mag, right? It's one of these shops that you can buy like a magazine or like a, a book. For the... for Toshi? I'd wish she'd give you more hints. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we can go to Club Sega. Oh, I imagine. You know, th this isn't the time I'm with Haruka. He doesn't care how it like, nah, fuck this. I should maybe use that, uh, the experience I've got. Can I interrupt that? Do you... Do you swing again? Yeah, you can enter up that. Not that though. Not as flip. Do something good on you. Ah, fuck it. I can't interrupt his flip. It's just. He's got frames of super armor. So. Sasuke! Matana! Kiruja! 
I do think like his slugger style was like the weakest I actually know. So that's going to be the phone call for that coming up. So we're going to be quite distracted. Oh, Mr. Hmm, what is it? How about a stuffed animal from the UFO catcher as a present? Stuffed animal? Do boys like stuffed animals now? What about this Ai Ai? He's popular with boys, right? What's an Ai Ai? Mister, can you try it? I love watching UFO catchers. But you don't like playing? Well, yeah, because they're scams and... You know, they're meant to take all your money. Do you think a high... No, I'm not even high school. Do you think an elementary school student or even... An orphan who lives in a fucking orphanage would have the money for that? No, you would. No, they wouldn't. So, yeah, it's. I'm trying to play the economic game here. That means you have to do it, and I'm also not good at it, so I can never get the toys. That's why I'm leaving this to you. Fine, fine. If you want to put it that way, yeah. I mean, I do have money, so I'll pay. It's a present for my friend, after all. You don't have to. Oh, this is different from last time. Can I get the first time this time? Nope. It's not the true fucking UFO catcher experience, I can tell you that. Fucking bastard. Just get his ears. There we go. Took some time, but we, we, we took less time than before. There, got it. Thank you, mister. You're real good at this UFO catcher. I think it was his luck. <laughs> I think any boy would love this. I'm so glad we found a good present. But if it's alright, I want to keep looking. Well then, let's look for more potential presents before going to see Mio again. Okay. Hello? Are you there? Q-san! You should have from the Majima family, right? What's wrong? Please, hurry! We need to- we need you at Senryo or an of you. If you don't come, the boss will be in deep trouble. Wait, boss! Boss, no! Hey, what's going on? What happened to Majima-san? Sounds like Majima-san actually needs help. Apparently he's in senior. I leave you. I better make sure I'm ready for anything before I head over. Uh, where's the drugstore? Yeah, it's... If I just keep going down, I'll, I'll bump into it. I can buy some healing items and stuff. And carry on. Let's do this first, and then... Yeah, I've got a good pathway of how I'm going to do this. I could probably check... I think it's this store that has um, what I need. Nope. I need drugs now. Or medicine. 
I don't know enough. Uh, how I can need something from here? Mister, would you buy me a stamen royale? Yeah, sure. Let's buy you the most expensive medicine that is. I don't know if I should be like worried that she wants the most expensive thing out of here or, or what. Uh, let's get some emperors. Let's not spend too much. Let's buy some uh, heat ones as well. Yeah. How's my health right now? Can't even. Ah, oh, here we go. No. I believe she wants ramen next. Yeah. Oh no, it's beef bowl. Which I believe I can just do here. Yeah. Standard size should be enough. You can get to see uh, Q smiling as she eats. Fucking adorable. Not too happy with guys smoking in here, but whatever. It's Japan. It, that's normal. Surprised there's not like a smoking ban in Japan. Then again, I guess it is somewhat the smoking ban now if like there's designated like smoking areas. Even even indoors. Do, 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 do. Is it here? It's like one of these damn magazines, um, magazine racks you can get like another present. She wants uh, fruit juice now, which I believe is at M store. But uh, yeah, I couldn't remember. It took me a while to actually find your orange juice. Haruka,普段何してるんだ。ひまわりの子たちとおにごっこしたり、一緒にテレビ見たりだよ。俺たちの頃と変わらねえな。でも、isn't this a place Nishida mentioned? Wait, is that Majima-san? Luke's ill. You have red on you. What the? Damn it, let go of me! What the hell is going on here? Mushy mush. Sir, are you okay? Nishida, what the hell is happening? What happened to Majima-san? The boss has turned. He's a zombie now. Zombie? What do you mean? 
Zombie Majima is more powerful than ever. If he bites you, you'll turn too. It's too late for me. <laughs> what? Wait, tell me how this happened. If you want to survive, run. The Majima family has been infected. We're all over Kumocho. Help me! What are those screams? Are you guys hurting people? Imagine my son became a zombie? No way, are those things actually real? I thought Miracle Johnson was pulling my leg. Fuck, that's an actual zombie. I don't think Q actually does zombies that well, so he's pretty screamish when it comes to like... Um, George Romero films. Majima san, snap out of it, pull yourself together. Kyu Chen. Give me a little taste. What? Damn it, my words don't seem to reach him anymore. At this point, it would be a mercy to stop him. I have to before he, pull he puts the entire city into danger. Fucked it out completely. Well, Haruka's uh, in the background cheering us on during a zombie apocalypse and for a zombie he fights like himself. I don't know when, where this music's from. If I had to hazard a guess it was probably from Dead Souls. Run! As a zombie! What? Then again, like the first rule of zombies is don't try and punch them. I imagine that's a good way to get infected. Then again, it is key we're talking about. He probably has his fears, like uh, how Big Boss has a fear for vampires. Then again, is it really a fear when you're punching, like, seed zombie fear in the face? That is slightly creepy, um, having the browser just update by itself all of a sudden. Fuck's sake, man. Oh 
no, it's zombie magma again. There's nothing else here. Oh no! He's gonna bite me! Or just snap my neck. Hold on. Let me make sure. One bullet is all I need. Destroy the brain. You won't come back again. Oh yeah, I remember. I just I just left Haraka there during the zombie apocalypse. I'm the worst father ever. Mush mush. Oh, there's Haraka right now. She was like behind me. So you did it. You took down all the zombies. Yeah. I'm just glad I avoided being turned into a zombie myself. Wait, you okay? I thought you were bitten and became a zombie. Huh? Well, about that. If everything went as just as planned, Kiyu Chen. You're practically invincible in zombie form. How many times are they gonna have to bury you? Wait, what do you mean just as planned? What the hell are you doing? Can zombies even do whatever the hell this dance is you're doing? <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't a damn zombie, I'm alive and well. <laughs> What's going on here? I wanted to surprise the Kiyu Chen. So this time, I got the whole family, the whole Majima family on the act. What? Wait, what? See, we're having a brainstorming session about how to get you to take a fight seriously. And we had the zombie flick on the background. And then it hit me. We had a shit ton of extras and made up and some makeup artists from the movie biz. And then we had ourselves a little epidemic. So this is all elaborate plan of yours? Can't believe how much time you just wasted. <laughs> how much of my time you just wasted? No way, man. You got the yeah, idea. You got any idea how much this movie, this stunt cost? Shit, I practically went through a whole B movie budget. Hell, I did, I did have cameras rolling. Maybe I can go out and make a real B movie out of it. Or maybe I can start a professional flash mob. Flash Majima. <laughs> now I'm dreaming big, Kyu Jan. Uh? Yeah, I'm still waiting to wake up from this nightmare. Uh. Oh well, I lost the fight, but I'm glad I got to see Kyu Jan take himself super seriously. Is that so? Anyway, I gotta come up with some more fun stuff for you. We'll be looking forward to the next time, Kyu Jan. <laughs> I can't believe he went this far just to stage a fight with me. Madrim's conviction for fighting is real. Maybe even I could learn from that. Kiri, what the hell just happened? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, out of curiosity, can I actually go back in here? No. Um, ah, it's one of these fucking convenience stores. I think it's this one actually. 
Was that gonna? I thought Haruka was seen to piss off. <laughs> I was like, what? Right. So that's the next level, the next stage of Majima. Bit of a pain in the ass this time, aren't it? Yeah, this is one. Don't know why all the other ones I couldn't do, but okay. Look, mister, there are a bunch of books. How about giving a book as a gift? A book, huh? I see. Well, they always make great presents. Not a bad idea. But what kind of book? Hmm. Anything can catch my interest here? What about this book of crossword puzzles? A crossword book? Uh. Yeah. The puzzles, so even a kid could enjoy them. Uh huh. Yes, that's an intellectual present, and it'll make Miho chan look sophisticated. Do you want to get this? It's only 500 yen. Eh, let's have a look at the other options. Mm. Convenience stores these days sell textbooks? How about this math book? Mm. Huh? A math book? Are you, are you for real? Uh. Yeah, after all, a student's main duty is to study. You should try to learn whenever you can. But a math book for a Christmas present? Being good at math leads to the best paying jobs. Street smarts help you survive, but it takes book smarts to move up in the world. An employ employer employers. An employers value brains of a brawn. Eh? You're talking about studying, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. If you can't do math, it's embarrassing. I guess street I guess smart guys are pretty cool in their own way. Then should we buy this math book for him? What about this custom car compendium? Custom cars? What's that? The cars and motorcycles that are fixed up to reflect the ideals of a man's dreams. There are a bunch of flashy flags and horns on these cars. Is this what men dream of? Yeah, I guess so. I'm sure a boy your age would be dreaming about cars like that. He's having a moment. <laughs> He's having a fucking moment. He's like, damn, I wish I could get back to Pocket Circuit Racer. I should pay a fighter a visit sometime. Get back in the game. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's just you. I really don't understand men. But if you really want it, we can get this. It's only a thousand yen. A kid's gonna like that. Okay, let's get this custom car compendium. A man would definitely want this, so I think a boy would too. It's <laughs> just smiling again. So that's two gifts down. I'm so glad we found a good present, but I'd like to keep looking, if that's okay. Well then. Let's look for more potential presents before going to see Mio again. Okay. Okay. So our next one is funny enough, um, you'll see him. I'm hoping I can get more Majima so I can just kind of end up doing the, um, that subquest without really trying. I don't think that's one like that, actually. That's a Majima, I'm sure of it. Well, what do you know it was? Is it possible to be second, like, sick to death of Majima? I 
think as. I wonder how many fights I've actually had of Majima by, by the end of this playthrough. Wow, I did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got plenty of health. I can. She's still wanting ramen. Oh, it's a orange just Ben ramen. Pain in the ass. And she's just running into those guys. They might fucking end me if I'm not careful. Yeah, screw this healing. He's gonna survive that. There's a magma as well. Deal with him first. He's got like, eyes in the back of his head. That's a new animation. Oh, you survived. Holy oh, shit. Kira, I don't think you were hitting hard enough. Try again. Use the front door this time. Not back door again. There we go. Okay, could you stop picking a fight with Majima every time you even sense him? Can't help it, I need to get stronger. Now 
Now why did you run there anyway during the fight? Hmm? That's... A vending machine that sells shrink wrap magazines. They still have those things after all these years? Huh. Huh? What is it, mister? Miho is looking for something that a boy would like, right? Mm. Yeah, that's right. But it doesn't look like there's anything here. Yeah. Unless... Mister? Mister? Huh? Mister, is this...? Don't go near it, Haruka. You're too young. Mm -hmm. Then why did we come here? Usually these things would make a boy happy for sure. You don't need to know about these things. Not yet. Just give it to Mio. I already know about these things. Ready. What? So I have looked at one, but I know about them. Mister, are you really gonna be giving this to a kid? Looks good kill. What to do? Should I get this for 500? Okay. <laughs> Should I get this? Should I get this for 500 yen as a potential present? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Sometimes it's important for adults to help help a boy with his transition to manhood. Dude, he's like nine years old. He doesn't need to see this kind of stuff. Doesn't it? I mean, it's. Not exactly the first time you've done this though, so I guess it's like speaking from experience. You never found out exactly... I mean, you told him not to hide it under the bed and stuff. To that kid in, in Zero. As an adult, I say we give him what all boys really want. You cannot be serious. Boys will be boys, Harker. I think he'd be excited to get this. That's why. Just stay behind me and don't say anything. I like how he fixes his collar before he buys one. You have to hold it. You have to hold on to it, mister. Huh? I don't want to even look at it. Looks like she's really disgusted with me. I guess it's really hard for girls to understand. I guess we've bought something that could be used as a present. Uh. Yeah, that's true. We could look for other things, but I'm okay with giving these to Mio. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mio Chan likes it. There is one more, though. But first, I need to try and get that orange juice and try and make up for that uh, shameful display. Can I have Natakan orange? Now, because trust is now E, you can have this. How because candy? Which is the hero name? Oops, I. It doesn't heal for much, unfortunately. <laughs> Although you did chuckle, so, you know, you, you did like it. He's like, damn, that's some new shit. You guys are seriously doing this? Fucking sledgehammer. 
Oh, both of them have sledgehammers, holy fuck. Yeah, none of them do. You should maybe like move. Doesn't move. Typical fucking uh, funk. There's definitely a fucking Majima somewhere. Can't be in there, surely. Alright, now that manhole is closed tightly. It shouldn't be a danger to anyone else. And I found this too. I guess I'll take it with me. Double slaps. Oh, it's Kali sticks. I don't think I've even found any today in, in, in this playthrough. Actually surprised. Um, that was more Majima's thing. Wait, I'll fight these guys first. Actually, I can give... Oh, that was a good dodge. Ah, oh, I can't even use them. That's why. Hey, it's not in front of the kids. Yeah, I felt like changing it up, finish him off with Rush. So, our next one, because there's actually four items you can get. One of them's here, but because I've not even started on um, the pocket socket um, racer stuff, as in the... Um, the, the, the fighter's hair. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the fighter's successor. It will take us a bit of a fight fucking around just to get to that point where we can talk to fight about a present. Don't think I should be drinking alcohol in here. While I'm here, might as well just buy all the stuff I can buy. Yeah, there's not even a car, like, racing here. We're just staring at the track for some reason. I'm fairly sure it, was, it wasn't the case in Zero. Yeah. Oh, Kazukun! So how about it? Can he help me find a worthy successor? Finding a pocket circuit fighter for the next generation. The fighter needs my help. 
Should I lend a hand? Of course. He, he's like one of your bros left now. Yes, I can't say no to that. You've always taken care of me, so sure. I hope you find your successor. For, for real, Kazmakun? Sure. But I can't make any guarantees. Your help is all I ask for. Remember that guy in Sultan Boy that you can give money to? Um, the guy with the guitar who just hanged the boot next to the, the grand. Um, that's a fucking guitar with. There's a guitar riff he was doing. Your help is all I can ask for. Thank you, Kazmakun. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Do you still have a car you used to race with back then? Uh, I've been through a lot since then. I'm not sure where it went. Then I'll give you a new machine as a welcome back gift. Then. Really? Are you sure? He has such a fucking smile on his face. For sure, it's to celebrate a reunion. Please take it. Then I humbly accept. Thanks, Fire. Golem Tiger. We have been reunited with the Golem Tiger. How comes that the background like, what is this? That machine is basically full of stock parts though. If you want to go faster, you need to tweak it with new parts. If you find parts all you can find parts all over town or just buy them at the parts shop near over there, which we know about. Oh we definitely know about that. Uh. Yeah. Customizing the car to take on different courses was one of my one of my favorite parts about pocket circuit racing. Oh. Yep, most definitely. Why don't we race as a refresher? I think I'll be fine. I think I know how to do this. I I think I can just skip this. Ready? Yeah, we know. We we know how to do pocket circuit. How was Pocket Circuit after such a long hiatus? If you want to race, or if there's something you want to know, come talk to me. Uh. Where's my phone? Yeah, got it. Okay, Kazmakun, thank you for looking for my successor. I'll be waiting, along with your entry in a race. Uh. Oh, it's because of Skype, that's why. Yeah. Someone as passionate as he is about pocket sucker? I've no idea where I can find someone like that. Maybe I could start at an arcade. People like pocket circuit must like video games too, right? So hopefully now the cutscene yeah, here we go. Pocket Circuit Stadium, huh? The fight is always playing with kids. Maybe he has a good idea. What is it? I have a friend who gets along with kids. If anyone can get into the mindset of a little boy, it's this guy. A friend in Pocket Circuit Stadium? Yeah. And she wants dog food. She wants uh, dog food for um, the dog. Now, now she's in the back one out. What is going on here? Yeah. Do you come here a lot? Yeah, well, sometimes. It's been a while. Oh. Dude, it's Kazmakun. Are you here to burn rubber again? Yeah. Actually, I'm here for a different reason. Mister, who is this? This guy is known around here as a pocket circuit fighter. He handles the race registration. Registration? Yeah. He handles the race registrations and live commentary. Yeah. Nice to meet you, little lady. Are you a rookie racer? Mm. No, I've never played Pocket Circuit. Oh, it does look fun. Oh. Right on. Pocket Circuit is rad, okay? Right on. Pocket Circuit is rad. Okay, why don't I tell you all about it? It all started in the 80s when... No, we can do it later. What? Really? Oh, yeah. You needed something, right? Uh. 
Yeah, I'm actually looking for a present an elementary schoolboy would like. You work for you work with children every day, so I thought you'd know what the latest trend is with the kids these days. A present for a boy, eh? I've got the perfect thing. Really? What is this perfect thing? A pocket circuit machine that was just released. The limited edition Golem Tiger. Limited edition? Yeah. You only made a few dozen models of this machine. It's rare and hard to get a hold of. Any kid would jump for joy if he got his hands on this bad boy. A limited edition? Hmm. Mister, do you want it too? I'm not going to lie to you, Haruka. It's been 17 years since I stepped into his ring. And god almighty do I want this fucking pocket circuit car. Like... There are a few things in life that I want more. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. There are a few things in life that I, I, I want. The limited edition Golem Tiger is definitely one of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, actually no, no, not here. <laughs> so you do want it. Hey, no teasing. <laughs> If it's for a special boy's present, I can give this to you. Really? But only under one condition. Let me guess. You want a pocket circuit race, right? Exactly, Kazmakun. I just customized a brand new machine and I just want to test out against a worthy opponent. Despite someone like Kazma not even, uh, you know, racing before. In a long time. If you win against me, I'll give you this limited edition machine. So are you ready to eat my dust? Uh. Yeah, I'm ready to race any time. Good luck, mister. Um. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, you know, just fix this up so it can actually go fast. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did actually. Is it? I think that's what I used. I can't remember though. Should be fine. Because I can just catch up and. Oh, fuck. I can catch him up on like the less grassy bits. I might actually need a boost here. It's more of a, a thrilling race though, so hopefully I can win this. Gonna have to do it then. I'm afraid Yakuza Magic's gonna save me. Hmm. 
Dry on my tail as well. Don't get stuck. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's right behind me. He should be fine, actually. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. You're amazing as ever, Kazma Kun. My new customized machine just wasn't good enough. Wow, mister, I didn't know you, you knew how to build cars. Yeah, sort of. Then here's a machine, as promised. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I'm happy we got a present that boy is going to love. Yeah. What's wrong? Hey, uh... Do we have any more of those limited edition models? Sorry, that's the last one in your hands. Well, shit. Really, mister? I've got problems, okay? I'm sorry, I've got problems. I, I was in the game for a long time. We found lots of things that could make a good present. Yeah, that's true. We could look for other things, but I'm okay with giving these to Mio. We now have four things, which means we basically gone out of our way to kind of max out this quest. You actually only need three items, but the Golem Tiger is pretty hilarious. Oh. Miho-chan, we found a few presents for you. Really, Haruko-chan? Yeah, check them out. Let me see. Wow, you really found a bunch, a whole bunch of things. Well, I had some help. Which one do you want? It's hard to decide. What should I pick? Mister, what do you recommend? What do I recommend? Let's see. I could give him the stuff animal. I could do that. I could give him a custom car companion. I can give him a porno. I don't want to give him the stuff. I don't want to give him a limited edition golden tiger. That, that shit's mine. But then Haruka would not. I would not hear the end of it from Haruka, so. God, I'm gonna have to give him a golem tiger. It's the last one they can get their hands on. Uh, no. I have to do it. It's the only right thing. I'd say this is a limited edition golem tiger. Oh, I know that. Pocket circuit, right? Isn't that really hard to get, though? Mr. Race against a pocket circuit fighter and won just to get that car. You won against the pocket circuit fighter? Wow. You played Pocket Circuit 2? Yeah, a little. Maybe we'll see you at a tournament one day. Or maybe we've already raced each other without even realising it. No, nope, that's definitely not happened yet. Hmm, maybe. Is Pocket Circuit really that popular? Hmm, maybe I really should get into it. How much did all this cost? I don't know if I have enough. Thanks, but it's on me. Besides, I couldn't take any money from Haruka's new friend. Then I'll give you both a Christmas present next time. Really? Yeah. Look forward to it. Anyway, thank you so much for finding me a present. I hope everything goes well for Mio-chan. Yeah, me too. We should come see her again sometime. And then Kazuma is like... Cubes, I, I just gave up a rare pocket socket car that I'm never going to see again. 
My collection's gonna be empty now. Why is that fucking pop? Damn it. Is that a Majima? No, it's a free item. Oh, it's not that. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. That's a Majima, though. It's break as well. No. Ah, oh, got it. Trying to avoid that. That's not how you avoid it. Fucking hell. Yeah, Breaker's like my weakest style I can actually fight against. Just, ah, I don't like fighting that. Of a knife. <laughs> well, fuck, that's noise. I'm healing up. It's so easy to get stomped. Get the same, get the same. Mandra? Oh, there's a simple solution to this. I don't know about staying calm though, that was just me get losing my shit, I'm like, fuck this. Did you use a counter? Ah yes, I actually don't have a counter yet. Well, if you're talking about, um... Not Essence of Awesome, it is, not body, it's fucking the fun, lightning punch you can... Should I actually unlock these? I forgot, I completely forgot about, uh, well, it's not like I completely forgot about upgrading, it's like I got distracted. That's the excuse I'm going to go with. Let me just level up. Do 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 Never run, which I might never use. Finishing blows. Time to 
and resolve. I might try and remember I have. Uh, Drag and dodge, I can't do much because of the system. Get that. That's just all this tech. I should have done this at the start of the set. Never mind the, um, what was it, midway? An hour and a half into the stream coding. What I do feel like I should try and get my hands on is, which one is it? Change up evade. But that involves dabbing into rushdown that I'm just not never a fan of. I can get that last. Bear hug and charged bear hug. Anything else I can get here? Not really. Might as well get this one. Uh. <laughs> hmm. I could do that. I can get that. Right, okay, what am I doing next? I, think I can just go back to, um... Miho. I thought I had to change the time, though. I'm looking for the Platinum 2. Um, I'm actually not, I'm just doing the subquest that I'm interested in. I want to get to Yakuza 2 at some point. I do want to fight an Amon. I, I'm, I'm more inclined to do it in zero, to be honest. Um, zero has like my playthrough, and that was like 90 hours. And like a lot of like Majima stuff was neglected. It's like his Cavalier stuff. I've yet to actually do past um, Mars. But I'm not looking forward to doing all the um All that grinding and the cabaret stuff. It's 
especially when I've not got the time for it. Ah oh, man, I'm sweating. I might need to go for a drink and... Oh, Majima is about... Um, not quite. My first Yakuza game was um, the original Yakuza 1. And then I took like a hiatus from playing 2. Never got around to playing 2 and then eventually last year I got into Zero after actually going to Japan. So here I am trying to go through all the games. Oh man, I'm sweating. Mio Chan, did you did you give him a present? Yeah, that machine was really really rare, wasn't it? Toshikin was really happy. I see. That's good. Cheer up, Mister. You'll find a machine like that one day. Yeah, sure. Haruka Chan, Mister, thank you for finding me a present. And here's a present I promised. I promised. Merry Christmas. New shoes. Thank you, Miho chan. No problem. Thank you too. It's almost time, so I have to go. Let's talk again soon. The limited edition fucking Arrgh. I'm glad the boy liked it though. Yeah. Thank you so thank you for helping, mister. By the way, have you ever gotten a present from a girl? A present from a girl? Well, uh... Not really. How sad. Don't worry though, I'll get you something next time. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, it's too hot. We need to buy more dog food. But we aren't keeping the dog. Management is all the way out there. I need to go back to Serena and change it tonight. So yeah, my objective for this is to do the Majima everywhere thing. And then we can um Hopefully by the time I get to like the end of the, like the Majima Everywhere storyline, I can say I've done like all the good worthwhile subquests uh, before I switch to uh, Yakuza 2 original. So you know, I don't think I'll get to Koami at any point anytime soon, especially if it's running on like um, 60s engine. Might as well just go through the actual um, release date. I mean, I've got 3 and 4 just sitting um, in my collection now, so... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then maybe Kwame too if I'm, if I'm interested. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in a moment. I just need to get a drink and cool down because it's way too fucking hot in here. Too fucking I hate the summer. Well, it's not even summer yet. It'll be fast approaching summer. Fuck, it's actually nearly summer. Well, fuck, uh, it's almost June. Shit. Ugh. I bloody hate the um. Yeah, when it's heat waves and stuff. Oh man, I I, I suffer. I'm not a fan of that. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. There we go. Ugh. 
go. Right. So now that the present um, Miho subquest is done, I want to go to Taihe, beat up Majima, and then head back to Serena, change it to night, and then do the other two um, subquests. Oh yeah, should maybe show you the new shoes before I go. The annoying sound they make when you walk mean will mean confrontations are more likely. They also say have well they also say to give financial luck. Yeah. That is probably one of the most annoying sounds in the in the world. Card watcher. Get rid of that sound. I'm not putting you through that torture. No, no way. League splitter. Tell you one thing, I'm not looking forward to like not having the loading screens. Like the lack of loading screens is great. Uh, actually, there's like a dialogue here that I want to get. There's a shiny as well. Asian giant hornet. Hey, you ever heard of that DVD called Passionate Manly Bathhouse Battle? Uh, nope. You sure not? You should think. You should ask what you think it is. Yeah, it's a martial arts piece set in the Edo period. It has this intense, manly battle between these two incredible martial artists, exclusive to the D and uh, DVD version, not the D and D version. Surely not. Huh, maybe it's worth a shot. Think I have it at the uh, Beam Store. A martial arts DVD, huh? <laughs> yeah. Very sure that's a Kenshin um, or an Ishin um, reference. I'll we'll get mixed up between the two. Majima is. Yeah. I see you, motherfucker. Get us over with. Oh, yeah, I should maybe try and do that counter now. It's kind of like the uh, tiger drop. I can get the timing right. If he was like a random person, he'd actually get stunned with that. Now he's just wrecked. Uh, 
why is I not typing that? Come on. Someone on Skype is trying to talk to me about Star Wars. I'm like, I'm not actually big into Star Wars. I know, heresy. Just not a big fan of it. Should me actually try and watch them though? Bicycle. Bicycle. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry, Haruka. We just we just need to like, rest for like, a bit. Hopefully that's going to be at the top. Just going to check. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, that's fine now. Right, okay, so we've saved the game, we're gonna just turn it to night now. Okay, two more subquests for Haraka and then we'll be flying solo from now on. So like I say, there's one here and there is one in Batman. I don't have the trouble finding my inventory. I'm gonna fix that. Let's see. The trouble find is pretty good. As it allows you to I should have used it in zero. Yeah, it actually shows like where on the map um substory uh sub are. So, there's actually one in Nakimachi, which I believe is the um, the card game, Batman and then here. So let's just do those two quickly, they're not too long compared to... Um, Uh, do, 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 do. Not too long like the present one we just did. We will be going here later. Soon. Definitely soon. Yeah, so excuse the typing. Kind of multitasking here. 
Um, there's a couple of guys who want to take me to a walk as well. But I have to do that um, away from Haraka. Mister, that guy is going to jump. We need to stop him. Uh. Yeah. Let's go to the, the let's go to the roof. Come on, hurry. It's funny enough, you have to go through here. Oh, and that shares a door here. I was gonna say, oh, you, you don't see a fucking door here. Because, like, previously I was like, okay, oh, common sense. Go through here. Nah, no, that, that's not how you do it. You go through here. Saves you having to go through the entire dungeon. I mean, I know he's a bit, um, on it. Uh, that, that's a bad pun. I, I know he's on edge. I know he's a bit jumpy, but, like, sure, sh sh um, Q could just sprint up towards him and then just pull him back to, like, you know, like, over the, um, the railing. Tell me what happened. なにがあったか言ってごらん。悩みってのは一人で抱えるよりも誰かに話した方がいい場合もあるんだぜ。水木ちゃんに見ついてたら借金がとんでもない額になったんだ。だから。Who's Mizuki? Is it? Is he talking about the real Mizuki? I would imagine so, Q. I mean, yeah, it's a small city. It's a big city, but it's a small city as well. But no, it wouldn't be the Mizuki we know, especially today, since that Mizuki is kind of, well, dead. Mizuki is dead. Max Bomber is the number one スタイルは抜群で性格のいいそれでいて親思いの心優しい子なんだあの子のためだったら俺は何だってできるうーん、have <笑>仕事が終わると病院に直行して毎日看望してるだからお店以外では連絡しないって約束なんだうーん、how <笑> <laughs> I 
もうこれ以上は時間の無駄だ飛び降りるぞおいちょっと待てうわー秋元くんちゃん、ごめんね、みずきちゃん、シャキ金返せなくなってさ、みずきちゃんに迷惑かけたくないと思って、わたしを置いて死んじゃうの、うん、秋元くんは、わたしにとって、命よりも大切な人なのよ、忘れたの。みずきちゃんだから死ぬなんて言わないでそんなクリスマス迎えたくないよみずきちゃん俺間違ってたよ秋元くん分かってくれてありがとうみずきちゃん素敵だよ私プレゼントは限定のダイヤモンドリングが欲しいな分かった今から買いに行こうじゃあプレゼント買った後同伴してくれるうんもちろんだよどうやら人違いだったようだなあるか行くぞうん<笑> Yeah is probably one of the more pointless、um... I mean, it probably makes sense to do that before the end game, or like when you're looking for Mizuki originally. So, what, like chapter 7? You know, just before we、uh, go to Shangri La. Instead of it being like the end game.、Uh, post game, actually. Pardon me. I actually lost so much health though. Attack me. The counter. There we go. I wonder here if it was the same music as when you go into Mutant Beast. Is very upset. Is that a fucking Majima? No, it's an item.
じさん私あの人知ってるおおお嬢ちゃん若いのに2だねそうありゃバンタム級ランク1位のジャッカルヤギサーだよお前ボクシング好きなのかうんひまわりでよくみんなで見てたよジャッカルのパンチってすごいんだよ<笑>本当によく知ってるねそう彼の右は音速の右って言われてるんですよそうなのかねえおじさん私握手してもらってきてもいい<笑>ああねえジャッカルさん,ん私ファンなんだ握手してうるすんだよガキが<笑>何にも知らねえでくそ。キューズファキンパスト。おいお前ガキに手を挙げるとは最低だな。なんだお前はこのガキの親か。<笑>ちゃんとしつけぐらいしておけよ。お前に言われる筋合いはねえよ。ひょっぱらいのうさんくせえボクサーよりはマシだ。あ,あお前、誰に向かって口聞いてんだ俺を怒らすとただじゃおかねえぞ酒に溺れた男に負ける気はしねえよ口だけじゃなく手出したらどうだ音速の右なんだろうてめえ言わせておけばじゃあ望み通りにしてやるよ Hmm, he is drunk. I can get drunk as well. I'm gonna rock this guy's world. I might have had some training with a, a guy who was boxing, but no, no. Ringu じゃ俺が負けてるかもな。でも素人に負けてるようじゃ、俺もいよいよおしまいだな。そんなことないよ。ジャッカルは強いよ。明日タイトル戦じゃないですか。そろそろ引き上げられた方が。タイトル戦？ああやっと手に入れたチャンスだってのになだったらなんでこんなところで飲んでたんだいいんだよほらどうせ何やったって結果は変わらねえんだえどういうことさっきは悪かったなお嬢ちゃんお嬢ちゃんの期待には応えられないんだよ俺は明日負けるんだ何もしかしてお前ジャッカルさん私信じてるよジャッカルは強いって絶対に勝つって応援してるから頑張ってねあいかにニューワイブスがなはぶんねえはい。
The thing, I guess it's because he might fool the fight. Hey, Barky, you know anything about you know anything about this? Hey. Yeah, a little. If it's not too much trouble, would you mind telling us? Sure, your guess was right. So about six months ago, Yagasawa-san got into a dispute with some Yakuza types. Yakuza? Yeah. And it was all my fault. They came around demanding protection money at a store I was running back then. Yagasawa-san happened to come on by one time uh, during one of the collection days and he really tore into them. One of them ended up a, a quad a quad reaper. Uh, well, fucked, I will say. He got, his day was just fucked up. One of them ended up as a quadruplepic. Quadruplepic. Oh, I can't. Sorry, I can't say it. Quadruplepic. Quadruplepic. Yeah. His, his day was pretty ruined. I see. And he used that to blackmail him. That's the short of it. I fled my store and came here to do business instead. But Yagisawa-san is famous, so the Yakuza kept finding him. And in the end, they made him agree to throw a fight. So tomorrow's title match is rigged? Yeah. They'll be collecting bets on the title fight. And when Yagisawa-san loses, it'll be a lot of cash, I'd imagine. Poor jack was -san. So... Mm -hmm. Well, um, you seem like you're familiar with the business, and you look pretty strong. I know who sets up the bets. Is there anything you can do? It was the name of a guy calling the shots. Sadawa, a man from a, a lower branch of the Shimano family. There's a Mahjong parlor near the pawn shop. The bets are going to be collected there. Mister, can we help the jackal? Yeah, of course. Uh. Let's help him out. Really? Thanks so much, sir. I knew you would do it, mister. Let's hurry. Tell a man in front of the Mahjong parlor that you just came to take shelter from the rain. That's a password. Sure, got it. I'll leave it to you then. Right, uh, pawn shop. See what we hear. Let's go to Beam and investigate this, um, this, uh, DVD. Yep, Kazuma Kuyu sending, bringing a girl to a pawn, uh, Porno store, as usual. With lots of stuff and stores, but lots of stuff the stores don't carry. Do you have health housewives in a bind and stock? Oh yeah, good choice over here. <laughs> He's even brought the girl into the fucking armory. Let's not ask too many questions. Indeed. <laughs> Let's not. I don't have enough shit. What I could do is I can sell, um, sell Sakura Storm. I'm not too keen on that. Sell the Destroyer of Lands so that I can repair Goemon. I don't think I can get anything worthwhile here. Oh yeah, this this made me chuckle. If I can find it. Um Oh wait, it's in the pawn shop actually. Uh 
We'll go this then. Passionate, manly, bathhouse battle. I'd like passionate, manly, bathhouse battle, please. <laughs> Majima san. What's going on here, Kyu chan? You interested in this kind of thing? I can't even imagine. I'm choking back the tears here. No, it's not what you're thinking. Whoa, check it out. Two macho men having a tussle in a nude? This is a world of shit I don't even know existed. Take a closer look. It's an Edo period martial arts piece. There's steam everywhere, so it's not indecent. Kyu chan. Nothing to be ashamed of. You and I are super best buddies. I'll keep your secret safe. I'm telling you, you've got it wrong. I'm not going to have you spreading rumours. I need to settle this with you right now, Majima san. Hot oh, damn, the tables are turning. It's rare when the Q san. Sorry, Q chan is the one in the instigating the fight. Looks like we're going to have a real passionate and manly battle. Hopefully do this without actually losing. Keeping this a secret, Majima. <laughs> You're always so tough, Kiyu chan. I lose. Now, about what we were discussing earlier. Passionate, manly battle, wasn't it? I'm prepared. Do your worst to me, Kiyu chan. This is so ridiculous. I don't even have a comeback. <laughs> I finally feel like I got to see a hidden side of Kiyu chan today. This is why I can't take the. This is why I can't take the only good eye I've got off you. <laughs> he just walks away. That was weird. Got really serious about fighting him. But if he's watched me 24-7, I have to think twice before I duck into a shitty store like this. Oh, I need one more. Um, mister, what the hell was that all about? We don't talk about this to anyone, okay? I, I will do anything for you if you keep the secret from your your um your, your school friends and anyone else you come across. Okay, okay. dog food. I, I'll, I'll feel bad if I don't get right in the dog food, so. Let's do that before we forget. I need more alcohol as well. There we go. Ah, it's a good cider. So now she wants to play Uchi Kabu. 
Uh, if I can just get the shiny, that'd be great. How come there's like a shiny? I kind of want it. There we go. Sort of snag. Sort of stag beetle. Almost called it a snag beetle for some reason. Just couldn't fucking say it. <laughs> couldn't fucking say it. Uh, there's a couple of Yakuza guys right there. Should be fine just passing by. Majo and Palmer holding the box and betting must be here. This is no place for a kid, pal. Uh, can I use your bathroom? No bathrooms back here, pal. Go find now, alley. He didn't let us through. Mister, does the man need a password? I guess so. It's back. It's, no, no, no. We don't need to head back to fucking Batman. If I leave now, I can't stop the rigged boxing match. I have to save a password. I came to take shelter from the rain. Is that so? Excuse my manners. Right this way. Oh, you don't say, Oh. これ珍しいお子さん連れですか。ええ。こいつがジャッカルのファンなんでな。ああ、そうですか。それは見る目があるね。明日のタイトルマッチはジャッカルで間違いないですよ。そうか。相場はどうなってんだ。ジャッカル
ありがとうございますなんとお礼を言ったらよいのか<笑>礼はいらねえよ八木沢に連絡してやったらどうだははいさすがだねおじさんこれで明日のタイトルマッチ楽しみだねああそうだな <clears throat> Okie dokie. With that out of the way, the Jackal will have a clean fight. Yeah, I'm sure the Jackal will win, fair and square. Right, okie dokie. So, I believe that's all of Haruka's um, sub stories that you can get. And something to consider is... Actually, let's just go to Pawn Shop for a moment. Before I continue. Uh, you could get a fucking tour t-shirt here. Yeah, General Guan's broadsword. This broadsword of the legendary Chinese general Guan Yu. Boasts power, benefit, and its heritage. Wait, this is wait. Why is it a fucking broadsword? It's usually like a um, a halberd that Guan Yu's um, seen. Wait, he's called a fucking god of war for Christ's sake. Just a bit of a nitpick. Like if Dynasty Warriors have kind of taught me anything, it's like Guan Yu is usually seen with a halberd of some kind. Can't imagine with like a sword. Then again, like Dynasty Warriors and like the Romance of the Three Kingdoms is quite exaggerated. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, it's a fucking gold member. Genius idea, man. Yes, yes. Go to Serena. Actually, let's just go out for a moment. So, like, in this street corner, just here, where I'm kind of looking at, there should be a guy here that, um, a drunkard, but because I'm with Haruka, um, he's not there. So I can't just do all the sub stories with Haruka on toll. I have to kind of put her to bed, so to speak. Uh, I didn't mean to say yes that time. No, fortunately you can't. Besides, it's bedtime. I'm basically a guardian at this point. Oh, pardon me. So now, if I just approach, yeah, see, now the guy's there. Uh, 
Now, for him, we need to get a few drinks. So I want to do him, I want to do... I could do Pocket Circuit Race, so like another day. Every time my phone goes off in the distance, I know it's someone on Skype. Still talking about Star Wars, despite me having next to no idea. So, we've got... Uh, that would be the... The guys that are trying to jump me every time I bump into them, like the bump and scam or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, bump and scam. Bloody hell, where the fuck did you come from? Uh, I do have trouble finding it on, right? No, no. That's C card capture. That's, yeah, that's the one. Oi! You! You're just gonna walk on my phone saying a thing? You got some nerve, Nissa. Great. A drunk. Oh, what's up with the attitude? You think you're better than me? Never mind. Oh, you, do you got some, some booze? If you do, I want it. You're drunk. Why do I give you more alcohol? Why would I give you more alcohol? Man, it's a little bit of a cruel and judgmental world like this. Okay. Let's say there'd be something nice for you. Nice in it for you. Eh? Something nice. <laughs> yeah, a nice surprise just for you. <laughs> a secret gift. Any kind of alcohol will do? Yep. Anything that'll give me that buzz will be groovy. I'm slightly curious about what the secret gift is. I guess I can go buy him some alcohol. Hey, got any booze? If you want, if you do, I want it. <laughs> Give me booze, I'll give it a give I'll give you a good surprise. Sure, why not? Uh here's some malt. Oh, thanks, Missa. Do you know alcohol is good for keeping your body healthy? Alcohol makes your blood vessels open and helps blood flow. That's quite debatable. Well, did you know that people who drink tend to live longer? Many. Really? Yeah. Yep. 100% truth. It's the secret to living a longer life. Oh man, I gotta keep drinking. Well, your health. I'm sure drinking too much has the opposite effect. Anyway, enough of this trivia. What do you have? Whoops, I almost forgot. Yeah, something good. You got 10 yen a week of alcohol. Boy. Hey. Yeah. Where is this? <laughs> 10 yen. Uh? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. 10 yen ain't too shabby. It's proper money, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna be needing more booze from you soon. Hmm. Uh. Where's the booze? Uh, spoiler alert, I know what he wants next. I think he can't run down the court. No. I think Don cut out, um, whatever. The budget store, I'm very sure that gives you, um, what he needs next. you have what I need. At 
actually no. You've got bus a black though and bus a rainbow. But not what I need. Actually, uh, earlier today I was watching the um the adverts, the boss adverts with Tommy Lee Joes at uh, Joes. F fucking me, I butchered that up. And that guy's the guy. He, he's meant to be fucking drunk. Tommy Lee Jones, you know the the guy from uh, Men in Black. Um, well, I know him from Men in Black. I can only tell you like every movie he's been in, but like I'm sure everyone's seen Men in Black. Now you have what I need. Unless it changes his mind for some reason. Whoa. Whoa. So let's go back to the drunk card. Just gonna keep going. I just have something bounce. Is that a Majima? Yep, it's a Majima. Perfect. Oh fuck me, when when did he um Shit Magic Pixel Health, holy shit. He should have had me there. But anyway, that's now him on the C test now, I guess. I'm actually going the wrong way. No, no, <laughs> no, no, leave me alone. Oi! You're just gonna walk on by without saying nothing? <sighs> you again. Oh, oh, oh. You're the guy who got me that drink before. Use that thing I gave you yet? Uh. Yeah. I'm sure that 10 yen went to something or another. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh, by the way, mister. You, you do have still got booze by any chance? You still haven't had enough? Oh, duh. You can do this forever. If you bring me more drinks, I can give you something even better this time. So you want anything as long as it's alcohol? Nope. I want the top shelf stuff this time. Got a mean hankering for some scotch whiskey. Something even better, huh? Well, knowing him, he'll probably give me 10 yen again. Should I buy him scotch? Yes, we're buying scotch. What was that you said? Mister, you got any booze left? If you give me some, I'll give you something even better than last time. 
But if it ain't Scotch whiskey, I won't give you nothing. Sure, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. You know, Mister, do you know why they call it the drink Scotch whiskey? Hmm? Isn't it just the name of the alcohol? Mm. Sorta. It's more like the name of a country it's made in. Whiskey made in Scotland. That's called a Scotch. Represent. <laughs> this is the kind of shirt that makes us proud to be Scottish. Oh, unfortunately, I don't have any Scotch on me right now, but. Oh well. A whiskey made in Scotland. That's called a Scotch. Bourbon whiskies are made in Kentucky, America. They make her whiskey from corn. Yep. Interesting. Even though it's all called whiskey, it's pretty different from region to region. Now, don't quote me here. I might be wrong, but I believe if it's made in Scotland, it can be called a Scotch, but if it's not, it can't be called a Scotch. So, I might need to look into that. Actually, let me just quickly look into that so I'm not making an arse of myself. Ah, okay. There's an actual, there's an actually a legal definition to um, whiskey. As of two, uh, the twenty fourth of November, two thousand nine, the Scotch Whiskey Regulations, or SWR, define and regulate the production, labelling, and packaging, as well as the advertising of Scotch whiskey in the United Kingdom. We replaced previous registrations, sorry, uh, regulations that focus solely on production international. And oh yeah, sorry. We replaced previous regulations that focus solely on production. International trade agreements uh, agreements have the effect of making some provisions of the SWR policy uh, apply. Sorry, the provisions that the SWR apply in various other countries as well as the UK. The SWR defines Scotch whiskey as whiskey that is produced at a distillery in Scotland from water and malt barley to which only whole grains of other cereals may be added of which have been processed at that distillery into a mash Converted at that distillery to a fermentable substrate only by ingredients enzyme systems. Fermented at that distillery only by adding yeast and distilled at an alcohol strength of by volume of less than 94.8% or 190 US proof. Wholly matured in an ex excise warehouse in Scotland in oat casks of a cap uh, of a Casper, uh, sorry, Casper a capacity not exceeding 700 litres or 185 US gallon or impe um, 154 imperial, imperial gal um, gallon for at least three years Retaining the colour, aroma and taste of the raw materials used in and the method of its production and ma maturation. Containing no added substances other than water and plain E1508 caramel coating and comprising a minimum alcoholic strength by volume of 40% or 80 US proof. And again, this game is set in 2005, so those regulations aren't in effect, so to say. 
Japanese whisky is made to fit traditional t Japanese tastes. Then again, he did say it was a bourbon. Bourbon's like more American. Japanese whisky is made to fit traditional Japanese tastes. But I think Scotch really has the best taste to it. Probably never use I'll probably never use that information, but that's some fun trivia. Can you give me that better thing now? Oh yeah, yeah, I almost forgot. Here you go, something even better than before. You obtained 500 yen! Reeking of alcohol. Hey! Yes, yeah, sir. What is this? That missa is something better than last time. I mean, I'll just give you a whole 500 yen. Ah, sheesh. It's not gonna allowance, just be grateful and take it. Just need to refresh him, so give me a second. And now he's sick. I think he's been mixing too much. Hmm, that guy. That is... Hey, mister. Got any medicine on you? Ugh, I knew this would happen. He may have done this to himself, but he doesn't look good. Should I get something to regain his strength? I feel sick. Do, do you ha have any medicine? Uh Here, use this. Hey. Uh. <sighs> yeah, thanks. I feel a whole lot better now. Hmm. You can consume a drink, but don't let it consume you. Hey. About that. I'm worried I did some very weird things to you while I was under the influence. You don't say. Well, uh, hello. Uh, oh, I knew it. I'm so sorry. Please take this as a token of my apology. Will you accept it? I'll feel bad if you don't. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Every time I drink, I end up like this. Maybe I need to quit drinking for good. Alcohol is only okay if you don't take, let it take over your life. I wonder if that man can take us back. I believe that was the last um, subquest I did before my um, I found out about the technical issues, so... In the ass, I'll admit. And we should be getting a, a phone call about Majima soon, so I'll get a move on now. There we go. Hello? Kyu-san, this is Nishida from the Majima family. Where's Majima-san waiting for me this time? No, this time it's different. The boss is in a real foul mood right about now, so I just wanted to warn you. A foul mood? Yeah, if you stumble on him, he might actually rush you with his, uh, with his baseball bat. That sounds just like every other counter encounter with him. That sounds like every other... That sounds like about just about every other encounter with him. Well, when he gets into one of these moods, he usually heads to the baton center to blow off some steam. If I were you, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Got it. So you're telling me Majima San is in the baton cages? Yes, that is all. Yes, yes, that is all. 
Again, just a friendly warning. If I go to the Baton Center, I might find Majima-san, but apparently he's in the foul mid. Better be ready if, for him if I go. And that we shall. See, so you know, they're so close to him. Might as well. And that's the, um, the guys who want to take me for a walk, so we'll do it after this. Just save before we continue. Well, um... I don't see Majima-san around, but maybe I'll take a few swings since I'm here. I am totally shit at this though, so... Give me... give me a few seconds. Give me a bit. I'm just gonna get my other drink and we'll... try and swing for the fences. I, that is a term, right? I don't know. Back in a moment. Oh, shiny. Right, okay. Uh, give me a good shot. Well, that did, uh, who cares? Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? I wonder how bad this is gonna end up. with this so you won't expect like a high score or anything. Too high We don't have free out, so it's fine. <laughs> ah, just a bit too too low.
Painful. Even Q's like, nah, that was Pesh, man. Oh, oh well, it isn't Q, Chan. Oh. Majima san. So you really do come here often. Huh? It's my play spot of choice. So don't go thinking you can just cruise on here without a care in the world. Mm. What? What's that supposed to mean? This place is special to me. I ain't about to let you or another num any other numbskulls trample all over it. That's something I've heard before. So I need to have your permission to use this facility? That's right. So if it's all the same to you, get the hell out. I don't feel like fighting you. Yeah. Sorry. But if that's the issue, I can't back down from it. I have memories here too, you know. I'm just, I'm not going just to hand it over, hand them over to you. <laughs> That's some rare shit that when our views actually line up. But I guess it's a fight regardless. Gotta see who, who's really worthy of this place. Fine, I'll take you on. Is that Slugger or Mad Dog? I haven't actually healed up. Hold on. It's actually not dead. That actually works. <laughs> Pretty good, Kyu Chen. Punch that heavy. Reminded me of him. Him? Uh. Nothing of your concern. Besides, what special memories do you even have here? Nothing that's reached me, that's for sure. Uh. It was a long time ago. My bro and I used to hit the balls here too. Really? Well, I guess I got no business hogging it. I won't stop you from using this place anymore. Are you sure? Don't mind. Fighting against you always blows off my cares. Sorry. Fighting against you always blows all my cares away anyway. Q Chen. Alright. I was sitting for the fences today. Gonna knock some homers out. Majima San must have a pretty troubled past too. Hmm, I wonder what my opinion would be of Majma if, like, I played um, this first instead of Zeal. Maybe you guys want me for something. Oh, it's you! Care to go for a walk with us to now? Uh, I guess. 
ますああ I guess I really do run into you guys a lot I'll walk with you for a bit All right, the tough guy is gonna walk with us. Totally not a trap. Totally not a trap. Good. So where are we walking to? You'll find out soon. Yeah. Into this alley, jackass. Oh, really? Not exactly the friendliest of places. You guys really go out to the trouble of planning all this out? Maybe you shouldn't have tried to muscle your way into a tough asshole. This time you're dead. Every time we run into your ass, you beat the shit out of us. I actually just got out of the hospital, you bastard. Can't believe it. You guys actually haven't learned a thing. You haven't learned anything. Shut the hell up, you broke our bones and then you broke our pride. Revenge is all we have left. So revenge is what we're gonna get. And we'll take our money back while we're at it. Mm hmm Really now. Oh shit. No way! We planned it out and everything, but he's just too strong. So this was the best he could do. If you still haven't learned your lesson, I can make sure you guys never walk again. How does that sound? No need! Walk away on out of the city. Promise. Come on guys. Apologize to the gentleman. Oh the fucks, we're sorry. And here I was thinking those obnoxious thugs might have turned around. What they've done messing... I hope we're done with these stupid stunts. Walking was kind of nice though. Maybe I should take the long way every once in a while. Bam. 2,000 points. 20,000 experience. And I think the next one... But I want to do. Is in purgatory. Just talking to that guy in the car. Oh my god, chase me. Go for that. Might be wrong, so I'll just save here just in case. That way, if I don't find what I'm looking for, I can just load back to the outside and start having to go all the way through uh, Purgatory and then the park. It might be time sensitive though, which I hope isn't the case. Because that would suck.
Let me just check the FAQ. So like you need to do, for what I want, you need to do like um... How the hell do you even start that? That's in Spanish. So, apparently...
So apparently you can trigger in a champion's district with the, 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 the subquest I need, but uh, don't quote me on that. Sound like fucking circuit pocket racer though. ちょっと金持ってねえか。え。お。さっきまで飲んでたんだけどな。あ。おい、そこのお前。黙って財布出せよ。やる。うわ。はい。うわ。Hmm. How's that? Check. Oh, key.
Why the hell can I not find what I need? But why why can't I get to like trigger? It can't be time sensitive, sure. So why is there like another subquest here? Is that just because of the guy? Yeah, it's him, isn't it? Why did I do that? Don't 
<laughs> well, that works. <laughs> Is, it, is that one? White Bunchan. Uh, I have that stuffed animal you want. Really? Please, I need it. Give it to me. What should I do? I eh, just give him that. This is the one you're looking for, right? You're you're much you're a much kinder person than I thought you'd be. Thank you, thank you so much. Right, if you don't mind, may I ask what your name is? Uh. Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Got it. I definitely won't forget your name. Oh, sorry for being rude. I'm Sasaki. Sasaki. I know it isn't much, but please take this. This... This seems a lot for a little toy, are, are you sure? Yeah. Absolutely. It's much cheaper than how I'd end up spending trying to get get myself. I'm sh I'll be sure to let you know if I need anything else. Bye. Hopefully you'll just respawn now. Alright, she goes to another arcade. Isn't that Sasaki, the businessman that I gave Bunchan to a while ago? Hey, looking for something specific again? Oh, Kyu-san! Thanks for getting me that Bunchan the other day. So, which one is in your sights today? My girl wants the entire Wu-Fam uh, Wu series. Wu-Fam? What's that? Well, it's a series of... Exoplotal stuffed animals. There are three different toys that make up the Wu family. Wu Papa, Wu Mama, and Little Wu Kun. She's saying that she wants all three to decorate her room. Sounds like I'm I'm sure I've got those. She sounds like she's just as handful as she, as ever. <laughs> sure, but that's the part that makes me makes her so cute. She knows just how much how to get what she wants by whispering it into your ear. Um <clears throat> anyways. I know it's asking for a lot, but if you have the whole Wu Fam series, could you possibly let me have it? I knew you'd say that. Please, you know I'll give you good money if you can. If you if you if you do it for me, can you get it for me? Mm. It's it's in the inventory, mate. It's. Yeah, let's just go to phone box. I'm sure I've got those. I just need to find a phone box. Because I'm fairly sure I got those for Haruka. Before she got kidnapped by the fucking snake um, flower triad. Uh, yeah, here we go. Are you about to give me the entire Wu Fam series? Or will we pay you immensely for this? I have those stuffed animals. Uh -huh. Really? Please, I'm begging you. Give me that set. Please. Mm. Should I do? I'll just give them that. These are the ones you're looking for, right? 
Oh my gosh, thank you. Kiyu-san, really thank you. No problem. Is it really that important to you? I know it isn't much, but please take it. <laughs> Thanks to this, I'm gonna have a happy ending tonight. I'll let you know if I uh, need anything else. Bye, Q san Something tells me that's not for a kid. Just a hunch. Can I get another one, or...? Is he still there? Yes he is. Sasak... it's Sasaki. Sasaki is... Mm. It's Sasaki, the man I gave the Wu Fam series to. It looks like he's trying to get something new. Hey, you're going at this pretty hard again. Oh, okay, san thanks for all your help. So, did the supposed daughter of yours ask for another toy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this time it's Jumbo Chestnut. Then. Jumbo Chestnut? Yeah. That's the one. It's a stuffed animal of a blue squirrel. Only it's jumbo sized. You don't say. So, Kyu san. I think I know what's coming up next. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Kyu san. If you have a uh, Jumbo Chestnut, could you please give it to me? Uh. I knew it. I mean, I'll pay you for it, of course. Sorry, I don't have that one. Mm. Oh, really? What am I supposed to do? You try and find it. Maybe you could cycle, um... Oh my god, a camera. Jumbo Chestnut, I think that's the other arcade. Pain in the ass, I'll admit. I think I'll do, like, next stream I'll, I'll end up doing the pocket socket stuff, so... I thought the arcade would be a decent spot to scout out the fighter's successor, but I should have known it wouldn't be so easy. No. So, I just yend up on that machine. Mind moving? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Oh. Eh? That voice and that intimidating face. Is that you, kazma mm. Huh? You're right. I'm Kazma. Have we met somewhere? It's me, Heideki. We used to play Pocket Socket together. Mm. Heideki. Uh, oh. oh, I remember now. The Pocket Socket boy, Heideki kun. It's been a while, how have you been? How have you been? Good. I got a boring desk job these days, but I still swing bow down to come watch when I can play around. <laughs> I see. You should grow up, Heideki. Heideki kun. Hey, don't be like that. You sound like one of my uncles. What's up with you anyway? Why are you standing around looking like death in an arcade of all places? Actually... What? The fighters getting married? Yeah, I was surprised too. 
This might be the fighter's only shot at happiness, so I want to do what I can do to help him. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure this is his last chance, and I agree that the industry needs some new blood. But the pocket circuit fighter wants a successor, eh? Uh. Yeah. I'm on the hunt for someone as passionate about pocket circuit as he is. I don't know where to even begin. Would you be interested? Might be a good fit for you. Oh, no way. Besides, I have a job to think about. True. Normal people have families and careers. Even if they love Pocket Circuit, they can't become the fighter. Guess the fighter may have to give up on marriage. Oh yeah, I might have a lead on you. I might have a lead for you. Is that so? I'm not sure yet. I wonder if he'd even consider being the new pocket. I wonder if he'd even consider being the new pocket circuit fighter. Well, even if it's a slim chance, I'd like to ask him. I can't let fighter down. I can't let fighter get more downcast than he already is. Ah, uh, okay. Do you remember an, a boy called Takum Takumura? Takum Takuma. Taku uh, Taku Takuma. Do you remember a boy called Takuma? Ah, oh, fuck. Do you remember a boy called Takuma? Kun? Takuma. Mm, they all look the same. Uh. Yeah, I remember. He's the kid who was always who always played with you. What's he up to these days? Is he still in town? Yeah, he's here, but I haven't seen him lately because it's been uh, awkward. So, Ka so Takuma Kun might have a. So Ka ah fuck it, that's a fucking complicated name, I can't say it. So Takuma-kun might be a good candidate, but there's a rift between you two? What happened? Let's walk and talk. A lot have gone down since he left. Uh. Sure. It's girl trouble. I guarantee it, it's fucking girl trouble. It's probably like the girl, a young girl that they were fighting against, wait for. So what happened to Takuma-kun? Well... Hi Dicky-kun! Oh, woman. Probably the girl from Pocket Circuit. Oh, hey. I didn't know you were in town again, Hi Dicky-kun. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yes, Hi Dicky knows her. She seems familiar. Is this a friend of yours? Nice to meet you. I'm... Huh? Wait a second. That intimidating face, that fierce gl that fierce grey, um, glaze? That intimidating face, that fierce gaze, are you kazuma -kun? That means you must be, uh, what's her name? Mika-chan? <laughs> wow, it's been forever. You stopped coming to the Pocket Circuit Stadium all of a sudden. We were worried about you. Uh. I see. Sorry about that. Life kind of happened. How, how, how have you been, Mika-chan? I've been okay. But I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Remember how I used to tell the other racers I was your girlfriend? Those were good times. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. And then my dad got the wrong idea and tried to get you arrested. Yeah, that was even more awkward. Oh. I'm working at that cafe right now. I'd love it if you could you would stop by sometime so we can catch up. Uh, sure. But I'm a little busy at the moment. I'll head over there when I've got some time. Oh, come on. Just stop in for a second. You've only gotten more handsome with age and I want to show you off. Yeah. Uh, no. Really, I'm... Uh... Oh, hold on a sec. What's wrong, Heideke? Mika-chan, haven't I aged it like a fine wine too? I'm sure your co-workers would like a look at these goods. Mm. I wanted to introduce kazuma -kun to them. Look at the intensity of his brow. And he was such a fast racer. Now it's coming back to me. Heideke-kun was in love with Mika-chan. Is he still? Mm. Can't believe he carried out that torch. I can't believe he's carried that torch for 17 years. I'm faster than him in Pocket Circuit. I spent my whole first paycheck on the best parts and mods. Huh? Your whole paycheck? 
And now uh, Hideki is now making himself sound like a fool, and Mika Chan looks appalled. Kazuma kun, I challenge you to a race. You can't be serious. What about finding the fighter's successor? I thought we were going to see Tamaku. Takuma. I thought we were going to see Takuma. If you can beat me, I'll tell you all about Takuma. Nani. What? I'm going to show you how much I've improved over, over the years. So yeah, I'll see you at the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Let's go, Mika-chan. Pardon? I have to go to... What's all this talk about fighter successor anyway? He might... Uh, he may look more grown up, but he's still a kid inside. Guess I'll have to defeat him to find Takuma. What the hell have I got myself into? Um, hmm. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god, there's a lot of subquests. And yet, not a single Majima. I thought I could go in there. Don't know why. Intended as usual. Right. Hmm. Oh. Who are you? Why, hello there, sir. Good day to you. Excuse me? I presume that you are Kazuma Kuyusama, formerly of a Tojo clan, ex Dojima family lieutenant advisor. Who are you? Wait, seriously, who are you? Thank you ever so much for asking, dear sir. Furthermore, I apologize in advance for any confusion that I may cause with my forthcoming statements. Firstly, I was born in the As Asakusa district of Tokyo. Second, regarding my occupation, I am a retainer of the Atobi family's third patriarch, Ke Keizo Atobi-san. Thirdly, I would like to introduce myself. My surname is Yoshikawa. Well, my given name is Ichiruta, though well, if it pleases you, my compatriots refer me as Ichi. As you can see, I am but a fledging who has caused some measure of annoyance to my superiors, so I hope to atone. I also state for a record that I am honoured to have made your acquaintance and hope to call you a friend. So who are you again? Mm. I have a cold shoulder. My boss says I should improve my Yakuza demeanor. So that is my aim. 
Pardon me, sir. I hail from the Atobi family. Thank you ever so much for the timely involvement regarding Miss Coyota the other day. Uh. Ah. You're with the family from that dispute in Debora. And what does the Atobi family want with me? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, it, sir. Well, in the interest of honest disclosure, you see, that young fellow, Takashi, seems less than reliable. Yeah, I guess he was kind of a little punk. You can see why you'd be so worried. As such, I have been charged with ensuring the young couple's well-being, sir. I haven't the faintest notion of their whereabouts. So, Kiri-san, could you please tell me, help me find the young lady? I guess I'd recognize her if I saw her. I would feel ever so reassured if one would know... Sorry, I fucked that up. I would feel ever so reassured if one would know this town so well could help me locate the young lady. Uh. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I knew you could help me, Kyu-san. My patriot was right. You really are the paragon of honor and humanity. Well, if you ever see the lady, I would like for you to give these to her and the young lad she fancies. Matching Masako Yaki bulbs. What's this? If you give them to the young lady, she'll understand precisely what it means. I see, this is just handoff. This is just a handoff then. Indeed, Kyu-san, I'm counting you. No, I, I have any idea where I'd find her. Maybe we could ask, start with checking out where I last saw them. Which means asking around the club but the bola. Ah, oh, man, you just... yep. Right. Chatted and chatted and chatted. Devil's Flower Mantis. Speak to that invest the um, the information broker later. Can't remember his name, but you know. It's that dude for certain. Oh hell no, it's you again. Hmm? What's your problem? You stalking me or something? Yeah. No, why would I want to do that? Whatever. You're crazy man, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm looking for Takashi. You know where I could find him? Hmm. And what if I did? So you're saying you won't tell me for free? <laughs> Damn straight. Nothing in this world is free, Holmes. What do you want then? Uh. Tell me what. You bring me a tuna and egg sandwich and I'll tell you where Takashi is. Mm. Sorry, but I've got nothing for you. I mean, I can't tell you where Takashi is. Damn, I can't believe I need to give this guy this clown a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Tuna and egg. Mm. Fucking really, mate? Oh, now you're just taking the piss. Lazy bastard. Tuna and egg. Tuna and egg. Get some of that.
ありがとうございます Oh, really, guys? I'm wounded now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get that tuna and egg sandwich from me? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Score! The sandwich is my jam, man! I'm happy for you. Now tell me where I can find Takashi. Oh right, I saw him heading to the batting cages with his girl. Back to the batting cages, huh? Got it, thanks. You need time, homie? Oh, that was easy. I thought he was like, ah, he actually did it, you fucking madman. I guess he's nice when he's not trying to be a gangster. I actually have those items in my... Uh... No. Oh shit, zombie Majima. Are you still in zombie form? If we can't talk like regular people, there's no use trying to reason with you. <laughs> Oh wow. You are desperate.
see ya. You see, it is peace and left. I can feel just how dedicated he is to staying in character. I'm up here. Fuck's sake, Majima. Ooh, we got a message. Nishida. Kyu-san, be careful. You're in the boss's sights. He's planning to force his way into your fights around the city. His focus has been on sharpening his dagger the entire day. I think he's going a little too far, so I contacted you. Batting cages. I came because I heard Takashi might be here. But is he? Oh, he is. Looks like I found him. Now I just need to give him the matching balls I got from Ichi. Hey. Oh, you're the guy from before. Kyu-san, right? We owe you a lot for what you did. We've decided to leave town. I'll never forget what you did for us. But it's time we move on. So why the hell are you spending your time in the fucking batting cages again? I see. So what's up? You came all this way for a reason here, right? You came all this way here for a reason, right? I'm here because I want you to, I want to give you two something. Cool. Matching bows? These are for me, I don't get it. Where's bows? Could it be... Kayoka? Do you know what this means? They're the ones I gave to my father, Kiyo-san. Where'd you get these? Uh, they're the ones I gave to my father, Kiyo-san. where did you get these? I got them from a guy called Ichi of the Atobi family. He said you'd understand if you saw them. I see. I had kept these bowls after all these years. When I was a kid, I gave these to my father to make a point about how he'd be ignoring my mum all the time. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't use matching bowls unless you were eating together, right? I'll never forget the sadness in his face when he opened up. When he opened them up, is this his way of giving us his blessing? We'll have to take care of these, right? Both of us together. Kyu-san, like I said before, we're about to leave town. We'll go somewhere far away and start over. I want to make sure they know that I got the message from Kyoka's fa uh, father. I'm taking it seriously now. Could you tell him that? Uh. Yeah, got it. I have an idea. Could you give us to Ichi-san? Mm. Your ring? Once we settle down, we'll come and visit Dad, and he can return it to me when we do. Maybe we'll have a new family member by then. Oh la la. Kyu-san, thank you for coming over this way f out here for us. Any more dialogue? Don't forget to give the ring to Ichi. Like, do you want a kid that early? Fucking hell. Excuse me, guys. You fucking joking. I 
I need to work on that counter. Uh, where's Majima? Oh, shit. That fucking hit me. Christ. Oh, the um, it's actually open still. Or maybe it's not. What the fuck? It was, but now it's not. Look at Majima, it's just fucking brutal. <laughs> you had to find that guy. Uh. Ah, here's that. How are you faring? Have you perchance located the whereabouts of the lady? Uh. Yeah, I found her. And she gave me this, it's for you. Uh. Th this is... No mistake about it, it's a lady's ring. So that means you gave her the matching balls? <laughs> I'm so pleased. And where is she right now? She said she's leaving town. With the promise that she'll come back, and when she does, I told we can return the ring to her. Is that so? The young lady, she's really something. And from Takashi, I want to make sure you know that I got the message from Kayoka's dad. That's what he said. It looks like the young lad is. F it looks like the young lad is finally willing to step up. Thank you very much, Kyu-san. As for me, your message has reached me, loud and clear. You've done a lot, sir. Not just for me, but for my family. This is a token of appreciation from the Atobi family. Please accept it with a humblest gratitude. That's a new one. Uh, might be useful. 
This town and its people have more honour and humanity than the rumours led me to believe. Well, please excuse me. Thank you for everything, Kyu-san. We'll repay this kindness, uh, this kindness one day. Sometimes people just need to walk their own path. As a man, you've taken a lot one large step forward, Takashi. I hope you can stay on that path without losing your way. I have so much experience. Might actually be able to max out all the fucking skill trees now. Just get the thing then. I think I'll need like 85, uh, 85 times 4. Seventeen. Seventeen and then Like thirty five? Thirty five uh hundred uh, three hundred and fifty I believe. Or three hundred and sixty. Sounds about right. No, um three hundred and fifty I believe. It's somewhere around those. It's just walking on dragon. Which is fun. And hang on, Vincent. To be honest, I think I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Um I feel like I need to write rest. Been up since fucking ten. Ugh. Anyway, um thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. When we come back, we will be starting the um, pocket circuit stuff and hopefully get some more Majima everywhere. I was thinking this would be two videos, but I think it's going to be three. Anyway, I'll catch you next time.